I would surely want to take this opportunity to thank Dr. Ajit Chabria for everything that she's done. Um, okay. It's not easy to have the only image of your birth mother burning herself. Watching someone go up in flames, you can still, I can still feel her scream, her burning smell, which left me sleepless most nights. I couldn't even spell that at three and a half. I didn't even know what was happening around me. But ever since that day, seeds of insecurity started to manifest. I replayed that memory over and over and over again in my mind. Initially, I just wanted to dive in the fire and just wish I killed myself at that point of time. If I had ended my life then, I know that I wouldn't have felt the pain, the agony, the hardships that followed later on. The feeling of your own mother abandoning you, the one who gave birth to you, a mother who's supposed to protect you, but just left you in this world. For the longest time, I blamed myself. I thought she committed suicide because of me. I thought I had done something and I just lay helpless. There have been numerous times I've cut myself, I've hurt myself just so that the feeling inside wouldn't be numb, so I could feel something else. Where I wish ending my life was the only goal. I couldn't forgive her. I couldn't forgive myself. Self-loathing began to creep in and bit by bit started engulfing me. I gave in to my fears. I believed I was not good enough. I believed I was a curse and everything I touched would be destroyed. It took me constant self-doubt day in and day out with every conscious breath not to be pessimistic. I still have my bad days, but most days are good. That's what's important, right? I went through a lot of therapy and finally I realized now that it was never about me, it was about her. And to this day, I feel so bad that the fact in this whole world she had no one to talk to, no one could help her. I now, I, I now understand that I cannot change the past or worry about the future. The only present moment is here and is now. You are not your mistakes. You are not your problems. You are not your past. You have the power to make your wounds into wisdom. Don't ever let the past define you. You can heal. You are not alone. Just remember, nothing and no one in this world is worth your life. Your life is your own. You are here for a reason. Death will come when it needs to. Till then, live for yourself. You're a masterpiece in the making. Your color is needed in this world. Don't ever forget. I'm going to take this opportunity to tell everyone to follow Natasha on Instagram. She's at the rate Natasha Noel 001. I follow you, girl. You're a rock star. You're a rock star. If you want daily doses of inspiration, Natasha Noel is the person you have to have to follow on Instagram. Her yoga poses are insane. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for sharing that, Natasha. Thank you. All right. Moving forward. Now, in our in our uh, in this evening in this journey forward, I'd like to call upon our next speaker. Sun Pharmaceutical uh, Limited, Industries Limited, is one of the world's top five specialty generic pharmaceutical companies and India's top pharmaceutical companies. It provides high quality, affordable medication, trusted by customers and patients in 150 countries. Our guest today is not only Managing Director of Sun Pharmaceuticals, but also Sun Pharmaceutical Advanced Research Company Limited. He's the former president of Indian Pharmaceutical Alliance and has been confirmed, conferred with many, many awards. Outstanding Business Leader of the Year, Forbes Entrepreneur of the Year, 
Corporate Leadership Awards, Businessman of the Year, CNN Indian, Indian of the Year, Ernst and Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, Padmashree, Mr. Dilip Sambhi.
in a tripartite agreement, agreement between the government, a private builder, and itself, has built homes for 50,000 slum dwellers for free. As chair of the Mijwa Welfare Society, she works for the rights of girls and women. She's opposed to religious fundamentalism of all hues and is highly respected as a progressive liberal activist. She's been a former member of the Upper House in India's Parliament, a recipient of the International Gandhi Peace Prize. Ladies and gentlemen, five times national award winner, Padma Bhushan, Ms. Shabana Azmi. Good evening, friends. It's very heartening to see all of you in such large numbers here. I think it's a testimony to Anjali's great popularity. But I also think it is because all of us do realize that the topic of this book, death is not the answer, is something that we need to take really, really seriously. Death is not the answer is not a self-help book. But I think it is a book whose time has come and it will be very invaluable to talk about it, to share it. I really applaud the courage of the speakers before me to share what has been a personal journey of Choma and then celebration. And I'm so deeply moved by it that I think that we really need no more except to salute you and your spirit and thank you very, very much, both of you. And also Shikai, who is here. The first time I encountered uh, suicide was when I was in the ninth standard. And I'll read you a little bit for you. She stopped at the yet-to-be-completed building, walked up 14 floors, then made her way to the terrace. She counted the steps to the edge of the building, looked down at the minuscule people going about their daily chores, and then climbed down. The next day, she repeated the exercise. On the third day, she jumped to the deck. She was my classmate. Bright, intelligent, vivacious. The school was stunned into silence. Then the gossip mill started running around. She was a lesbian, and that explained her suicide. Till this day, I have no idea whether that conjecture was true or not. But even if she was, so what? The cruel fact is that at the age of 14, she had no one to guide her or talk her out of the darkness she felt engulfed by. Suicide fundamentally is an escape from an unbearable situation that is ironically a self-protective move, writes Dr. Anjali Chagri. Self-protective, if only, if only. Beat a broken heart, insecurity, failure in an examination, financial constraints, rejection from a friend, standing atop a building and jumping to your death should not be the way out. There is help. See. This is a message with not just the youth but all individuals who are vulnerable need to understand. Yes, life will not pan out the way we imagine it will and there will be times when we may not be in a mental condition to make the best decision. It is especially at times like this that we need to reach out to those who can help us rethink and reconsider. There is always another option. It has been said here before that in our society there is this unspoken fear that the minute you talk about a mental illness people will look at you as mad and they will make fun of you, they will deride you. Which is why people do not treat mental illness in the same way that you would a physical illness. You would, if you had a heart problem, you would go to the doctor. If you ha had a headache, you would go to the doctor. So why, when it is a physical, when, when it is a mental illness, do we worry about it so much? This book is an attempt to make us understand that there should be absolutely no shame uh, attached to it. And one of the things that Anjali told me that came as a real surprise to me was when I said that, you know, how do we recognize that somebody is, um, is sort of has a tendency to commit suicide? And she said, they talk about it. And that came as a huge surprise to me because you know how we are. If somebody talks about suicide, we say, a drama kari, aise thodi koi baat karta hai. She would commit suicide. Now that is the wrongest thing. You have to pick up that signal. If somebody talks about suicide, that 
person needs help. This is something that is wrong. In recent times, it's been said a lot that there are so many actors who are committing suicide. What is the reason for this? There's much speculation. There's always some TV actress that you hear about and then you say, oh, she had a boyfriend, there was a problem over there. Some kind of thing saying that, you know, there must be some tendency because she is uh, an actor, that there must be something like that. Recent times, Robin Williams actually, when he committed suicide, it came as such a shock because we hear with this person who had brought humor into their lives, whose sensitive portrayal in uh, dead poet society, you believe that he had life at his fingertips. I have my own understanding and that's what I'd like to share with you. Acting is a very demanding profession. It demands that the actor remain in a state of perpetual emotional preparedness ready to explode at the command, start sound, camera, action. Shot down, she's expected to effortlessly push back the emotional upheaval to storage and function normally. We are consistently asked to do the opposite of what civilized behavior asks us to do. Civilized behavior says control your emotions, don't show them. What does acting say? At the click of a button, emotion number 36, they will care. They finally go back to being completely normal. Oh, hasira, hasira, and go back to life which is completely different. It has to take its toll. If you are a serious actor and if you are looking for your resources for life itself, these emotionally draining moments really take their toll on you. Inevitably, the residue of frequent emotional churning leaves its traces. No wonder actors are prone to being neurotic and highly strong. It is an adrenaline rush. Actors inhabit the world of the characters they play and willingly expose themselves to varied and demanding emotional roller coaster rides. This has many effects. The highs of success, the lows of failure. Coming under the glare of public scrutiny, all this often leads to anxiety and depression. Nobody believes this. An actor is supposed to be the epitome of confidence and positivity. Friends and family are often unable to understand this. Even small irritations start assuming the proportions of insurmountable obstacles. The more you struggle against it, the more tightly the depression holds you in its grip. At such times, you need professional help. Dr. Anjali Chhabia has equipped hundreds of vulnerable people with the ability to recognize symptoms of depression and find the strength to overcome feelings of hopelessness before it becomes too late. So, here's to Anjali Hi, good evening everybody. I never knew that I've got to speak here, Anjali. I'm not prepared. <clears throat> anyway, Oscar. Congratulations, Anjali. You've done a good job, but I don't think death is not the answer. Death is the answer. Why? <laughs> death of ignorance, death of wrong image of yourself, death of your ego, and stupid ideas. Death of your egos. Nah? Ego means a wrong image about your own self. And people usually are not taught to love themselves. I don't know why. People should love themselves. I love myself every day in the morning. You must say when you get up at any age. We say, we say that to a little baby and who's the little baby inside us? We have a little baby inside us too. I don't, I was not come prepared. I didn't mean to write it. You should have told me. I just left my thing in the car. Anyway, uh, death here, what Anjali says, is uh, not the answer means. You have to pay for what you've done. If I take today a bank loan, I've got to pay it. No? Simple as that. No? This, what is there in the running away from things what you've done? In Hindi, we were taught in childhood, Hame bhagana nahi hai, hame jagana hai. Jagana hai means have the knowledge, 
jagna gyan the the right knowledge and bhagna means running away and there is no point that is that is not the answer because mar kar bhi nahi hua to fir kahan jayenge fir we've got to come back you've got to pay again and in in even even in real life if you do not uh, understand a single uh, simple situation it keeps on coming again and again to you it keeps on you got to complete complete it and life is full of actually anjali i think life is too we take life too seriously life ko life should be we have to learn to take life easy It's like Shabana was talking about films and movies and scenes and roles. If you start feeling that we are just playing a role, and my driver is playing the role of a driver, and my wife is playing the role of a in a woman's costume, and uh, my cook is playing the role of a cook who cooks food, everybody is a soul. The moment we think, we start understanding that we are a soul with a body. Not a body with a soul. Mere under soul is not. I, the soul, am carrying a body through which I express myself. Without the body, you cannot. So the moment you start realize, realizing your originality, originality of soul is what: peace, love, happiness, knowledge, power. Those seven qualities of which everybody knows. If I am peace, I am love, and that is my original quality. so my job today in this lifetime is to go back to my original quality jaise aapko bhagwan ne bheja hai you got to go back wo laga chunri mein daag likha tha na kisi ne waise kyun daag kar ke jaye you got to go back to your original self and the moment you understand that you are a soul and start believing it you will start looking at the other person as a soul a soul who has come to work and do his duty like i was playing mazdoor uh, in mazdoor dilip kumar was playing mazdoor and i was playing his boss so dilip sahab is not become my mazdoor as soon as the director says cut theek hai yes sir cha- aap chai piyenge baithiye sir i say but at that time he is playing the role but originally he is dilip sahab or kuli amita whatever so in the same thing if we follow here in real life the mera cook hai is playing the role both of us are souls but ha huh, we have got to understand that the other person is also soul i am a soul that day this death is not the answer up to ho jayega thank you so much thank you mr roboray thank you so much मुझे डॉक्टर साहब ने बोला था मिस्टर ओबरा को बुला लो तो मैंने बुला लिया स्टेज पे आपको उन्होंने ऐसे ऐसे इशारा किया दूर से वहाँ खड़े होकर और राइट इससे पहले कि हम किताब लॉन्च करें एक और मैं गेस्ट को यहाँ स्टेज पे बुलाना चाहूँगी ऊपर स्टेज मतलब पोडियम पे बुलाना चाहूँगी यहाँ पर आ नेक्स्ट स्पीकर लेडीज एंड जेनमेन इज ए लीडिंग इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक का इज एन इन्वेस्टर अ वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट कैपिटल मार्केट एक्सपर्ट ऑफ द कंट्री ही इज द को फाउंडर एंड चेयरमैन ऑफ ए राम ग्रुप He's a trustee of the Bombay Stock Exchange. Matlab, he's a trustee of the Bombay Stock Exchange, <laughs> and he has interest in other things, not just finance, religion, behavioral sciences, economic development. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to call upon stage veteran economist, Mr. Valla Bansali. Mr. Bansali, please. Anjali would have me here if I was all that. It's my interest in, I think, a very effective form of meditation called vipassana that uh, she and I have discussed uh, for many many years. Uh, that uh, she felt I could say something or do share something uh, in the book. I think the previous speakers have covered a lot of ground and covered it brilliantly. So. all that i would say is while death is not the answer the book is an answer to many many situations so the death probably is a daunting word the reality is as shabana ji said that uh, actors you know they go through a lot of stresses but i think modern life is making an actor out of everybody 
we play that many, so many roles every day. And while on the one hand, it's a liberated society where you are encouraged to be yourself, but we do recognize that, you know, we forget how to be independent and ourselves and get start playing roles, whether as a teenager, whether as a yuppie or whatnot. Uh, I just pick up two themes. One is ignorance, second is helplessness. That's what drives us to do anything wrong. And um, I think it's a duty for all of us, encouraged by the bold and imaginative and a thorough professional approach that Anjali has taken in writing this book and addressing a very uh, important question, not often discussed in society, that what do we do to create a sense of help being available? So when Dilip Bhai said about helpline, I'm totally with him, that only if we can create helplines of all kinds, that help is easily available, a lot of people will be more hopeful. And as to ignorance, as uh, Oberoi Sub said, that you know who you are, I think a lot is being done today's times with all the kind of spiritual channels and what not. And uh, I can only share one thing, that I have a vision. Uh, I'm involved with a schools project, uh, and we're trying to bring about a change in the civic environment through citizenship education. But that's just the beginning, and uh, because you know nobody ever taught us citizenship, what does a good citizen mean, and so on. But I'm not here to talk about it. We are building this anchor in the schools, really, eventually, to lead to scientific spirituality. Why it is not taught at schools? Why are we so afraid to deal with that in the fear that, oh, there will be this religion, this may be a sung agenda, it may be somebody else's agenda. We're talking about the reality of ourselves. So I think um, you started a movement, I can only say, Anjali. More power to you. And you have probably invoked and evoked in all of us, all those who really care about society and fellow beings, to do what we can. Uh, Dilip Bhai, I am with you. Thank you very much. All the best. Thank you, Mr. Bhansali. He's a trustee. <laughs> Let's never forget. Before we launch the book, Vahida Ji, can I ask you to call you up? Please, if I could just call you up. All right, Vahida Ji, we'll call you up on stage and then we'll launch the book. Dr. Shabriya, where are the books? Where are the books? Where are the books? Where are the books, everybody? Where are the books? We have, we have more, we have more people. All log aayenge, aap se baat karenge. But where are the books? Subjaga, the chief guest of the evening, Dr. Shabriya, books nahi hai. Do we have the books yet? All the books have sold out. The, the copies, yeah, the copies have sold out before they've hit the shelves only. Oh, there we are, there we are. We saved some. There you go, fantastic. All right. Miss Vahida Rahman, can we have a huge round of applause for everyone? Please, please, please. Shabana ji. Mr. Oberoi, please, if you join up. Everyone, all the guests here, Mr. Sangvi, Mr. Bansali, sir, please, if you could please join us up on the stage. Dr. Shetty, Dr. Shetty, Dr. Shetty, Dr. Shetty. Calling Dr. Shetty, please, up on stage for the photo of the
मिस नीतू घोष एंड मिस नताशा क्या आप दोनों अब आ सकते हैं स्टेज पे डॉक्टर झाबरिया के साथ एक फोटो आपके लिए प्लीज नताशा जी आप भी आ जाए नीतू जी आप भी आ जाए फर्स्ट आई जू फोटो विद विद लेडीज विद लवली लेडीज नीतू एंड नताशा राइट है फोटोग्राफर भाइयों अगली हमारी जो इम्प्रॉम टू स्पीकर मैं यहाँ पर बुलाने वाली हूँ डायस पे मैम आपके गाने गा गा कर मेरे को इतनी जॉय मिली है ना ऑल माय इंटायर लाइफ अच्छा आप बोलने नहीं आए कुछ तो बोल दो है डॉक्टर छाबड़िया के बारे में किताब के बारे में लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन मिस ईला मुझे बहुत डांट पड़ती थी आपके गाने गाती थी छोटे छुटपन में निगोड़ी कैसी जवानी है दिस इज द आंसर विच विल सेव यू फ्रॉम द डेथ आपको हमेशा जवान महसूस करना है अपने आप को पहचानना अपने आप का वो उम्फ जो है उसको आप पहचाने तो आप कई मतलब छतों पर नहीं जाएंगी किसी के पास नहीं जाएंगी और जिंदगी को प्यार करेंगी सबसे पहले मैं तो सिर्फ सुनने आई थी जैसा कहते हैं हर घर कुछ कहता है तो कहीं ना कहीं आपके घर में कुछ ऐसा होता है कि कभी कभी लगता है कि आप अपने लोगों को सुन नहीं पा रहे हैं मुझे दो लाइन कहना है कि जब मुझे कहा गया है कि डॉक्टर छाबड़िया है मैंने इनको देखा बहुत कोमल बहुत ही सीधी इनकी आवाज़ भी मेरे कान तक नहीं पहुंच पा रही पहली बात मैं अपने लिए नहीं गई थी मैं जिंदगी को और मौत को दोनों को चुनौती देती हूँ आई हैव लिव द लाइफ इन्फ्लुएंस्ड और मैं ये हमेशा कहती हूँ कि आपने आके शेयर करा पर आप जैसी छोटी छोटी बच्चियों ने ऐसा किया क्यों कि आप घबरा गई सबसे पहली बात है अभी हमने इप्सन फेस्टिवल किया था जिसमें कि डॉल्स हाउस में नौरा कहती है जब उसका हस्बैंड उसके आगे आता है और कहता है कि तुम रुको तो शी से लिसन तुम माँ हो तुम वाइफ हो तो वॉट शी से नीज एन आई एम मदर नॉर आई एम वाइफ फर्स्ट टाइम आई ह्यूमन बींग तो हर औरत को अपने अंदर का वो ह्यूमन बींग पहचानना है अपने आप को अपने आप से प्यार करना है एंड वॉट आई लाइक अबाउट हर डॉक्टर अंजलि जिनके लिए मुझे मौका मिल ही गया कि ये सुनती हैं हमारे घर में कुछ ऐसा होता है हम धारणा बना लेते हैं हम प्रेजुडिस हो जाते हैं हम एक जजमेंट पास कर देते हैं अपने बच्चों में अपने जो भी कोई अरे यार ये तो डिप्रेस रहती है अरे यार ये अपने बारे में बात करती है बट मैंने देखा कि इनमें एक पेशेंस है इनमें एक इतनी कोमलता है एक ऐसी सुनने की वी ऑल हैव टू बिकम लिसनर लाइक अस तो फिर हमारे बच्चों को छत पर जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी और अब ऑल निगोड़ी कैसी जवानी हम तो हम तो हॉल ऑफ फेम में पहुंच चुके हैं एनी वे निगोड़ी कैसी जवानी है जो बात सुने ना मेरी निगोड़ी I was in Bangalore yesterday in the afternoon. Then I took a 3 a.m. flight to Lucknow. I finished an event in Lucknow. I had a conference for principals. You'd be surprised abroad. I was actually giving gyan to principals this morning. Shabana ji. अरे बूम में नहीं लगा यार बूम. Can you imagine? बूम में तो नहीं. And then uh, I've taken this evening flight and I'm here and uh, very proud to be here and so happy and uh, congratulations and I think this is a very very important. Uh, Topic that we all here to discuss and take this course forward, and obviously with the headmaster here, we'll be cracking the whip and see to it that we all do it well. Um, I don't want to take this moment away from you, so I want you to continue. Um, well, um, I have. Uh, I'd like to, uh, to extend a warm welcome to all the guests here, family, friends, well wishers, members of the media, and of course my seniors, my colleagues. Uh, friends, uh, 
I guess uh, we all know we all gathered here for a certain cause and that uh, touches us all so deeply. It starts obviously with depression. Everyone has ups and downs in life. But there are different ways to deal with it. There are the stronger ones who deal with it and there are ones who just collapse and scatter away and just let go of their lives. And that I think is something that can be prevented, can be helped. Um, and not only uh, through various means, but it also requires the, uh, the support of family, friends who realize that at that very sensitive arm, uh, this person needs to be taken care of. Uh, I think this book is very important for everybody to read because it's not only a lesson on how to do, what to do, why to do, but it actually gives you a true meaning that why and that death is actually not the answer. There's a full life ahead for you to live, stand up and walk again. And uh, well, I've lived with that mantra through my life, uh, through my ups and downs, picked up the pieces and put them together and walked again and thankfully with love and support. Um, of friends, of my family, that uh, you know, they've always been a backbone. But there are some people who are not lucky enough. And so what do you do? So it's, it's, it's basically, as a celebrity, I would like to take this course forward. I'd like to talk about it. When you hear the statistics from none other than the boss, you'd be really shocked to know that I think uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very scary, and uh, uh, I'll leave all that for you to uh, I don't want to jump into your <laughs> thing and start rattling off what we discussed. But uh, most definitely as a celeb, I'd like to take this course forward. I'd like to help people. Uh, this book also uh, kind of gives you an insight on, on, on to recognize signs uh, of people around you that in case you notice someone who you can see is going towards the, the depression, going towards that. So it's, it's very important for us to be vigilant, to be alert and yes, carry the message forward. So as a celeb, I'd like to spread awareness about this, talk about it. Um, uh, make people aware, whether it's on social media or all the means that I have in my capacity to take this course forward. I'd like to thank and congratulate uh, Dr. Anjali Chhabria here for it's not only just a book, I think it's a noble cause that you've taken ahead and I wish you all the very success and all the very best, not only because you are what you are, but you're a wonderful person, you're beautiful inside out. Thank you so much. Thank you to each one of you. Arjuna, Bittu, Yola, Yor. Come, come, come. My dad wants to say something. He never talks. You know, I think बहुत जरूरी था कि ऐसी किताब लोगों तक पहुँचे, लोगों के जरिए पहुँचे, एक डॉक्टर के जरिए भी बहुत आगे अगर आप स्टेटिस्टिक्स देखेंगे कि सुसाइड रेट बहुत प्रॉब्लम है, प्रॉब्लम है ना बहुत नहीं हो रही है, जल्दी आना चाहिए, क्लिनिकली एक क्लिनिकल प्रॉब्लम है, जैसे डिप्रेशन कहते हैं, जो लोग कभी-कभी पहचान नहीं पाते हैं, चाहे छोटे मिल जाते हैं थोड़ी बाप की डांट पड़ जाती है पिता की माता की डांट पड़ जाती है तो एक ये गंभीर स्टेप उठा लेते हैं जो मतलब अच्छी बात नहीं है एंड आई थिंक कहीं ना कहीं एक एक जो एक होप जो मिलना चाहिए ऐसे केसेस में अगर आप देखेंगे तो दस में से छह जो संख्या है वो एक्चुअली औरतों की है जो I think it's very necessary that such a book will give you a hope, a step by step, what should happen, how should happen, how should you recognize the signs, that your family member is depressed, your friend is depressed, how should you help them. So this book, the title itself says that it's a book for those who are depressed. So I think it's very important that people should read this book. Yes, Pravina, it's a book for those who are depressed. Yes, Pravina, it's a book for those who are depressed. Yes, Pravina, it's a book for those who are depressed. ये पूरे कमरे में जब किसी के भी ऊपर भी हाथ रख दूँ ना ऐसे कोई इंसान नहीं है जिसकी लाइफ में अप्स एंड डाउन्स डाउन्स नहीं आए हों तो और जिन्होंने लेकिन हर एक इंडिविजुअल के ऊपर डिपेंड करता है कुछ लोग हैं जो अपने आप को समेट लेते हैं उठते हैं और वापस चलते हैं और कुछ लोग हैं जो थोड़े वीक से होते हैं जो अपने प्रॉब्लम्स के से नहीं डील कर सकते हैं हार मान जाते हैं तो ये एक सबकी ही लाइफ में ऐसे मुकाम तो आते ही हैं किसी की ऐसी लाइफ नहीं है जो बिगनिंग से एंड तक खुशहाल ही रही ये ये बहुत ही लंबा आंसर है एक बार जब साथ बैठेंगे तब बट आई थिंक कि बहुत जरूरी है टू रियलाइज के जिंदगी में सबके अप्स एंड डाउन्स होते हैं एंड जो आपको दिया है ऊपर वाले ने आप वो अपने ब्लेसिंग्स गिनिए ये कि जो आपके पास नहीं है 
एंड uh, जैसे कि मैंने कहा uh, आपके मैं मैं तो ऐसे समझती हूँ कि ऊपर वाले ने एक छत दी है सामने खाने थाले थाली में खाना पड़ा है पेरेंट्स uh, uh, का प्यार है और क्या चाहिए पेरेंट्स का आशीर्वाद है और ज़िंदगी में और क्या चाहिए किसी लॉट्स ऑफ पीपल कमिंग आउट टू एक्सेप्ट दिस दिस सिचुएशन ऑफ दियर्स डू यू थिंक दिस इज एनकरेजिंग एंड विल सेट एन एग्जाम्पल Of course, it does. I think as celebrities, we should be as honest and as human to show people that सबको दर्द होता है ऐसी बात नहीं है कि हम celebrities हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं हम पत्थर के बने हुए हैं सबको दर्द होता है सबको महसूस होती है लेकिन जैसे कि मैंने कहा हर individual के ऊपर है कि वो कैसे अपनी कठिनाइयों को face करते हैं Thank you so much.